Hey, what's going on guys? ETP coming at you guys with another video today and I've got a tutorial on how to work around the inappropriate name glitch in NBA 2K15. So I'm going to use Dwayne Bacon here as an example. If you guys don't know how this glitch really works or what it is, basically, uh, you know, they have the system in place. So they're, you know, it picks up on inappropriate names that you put for created players. So that's a good system, but it does have some flaws. Um, and it says some names that aren't inappropriate actually are inappropriate. So for example, right here, Bacon, that's obviously not inappropriate. I'll misspell, I'll misspell it right there and then I'll spell it again. And right there it says that name contains inappropriate language and cannot be used so there's a workaround to this this really helped me a lot making my draft class because there were I think four guys total that I spelled their name how they're actually spelled and it wouldn't let me do it because it said it was inappropriate um, so I found this workaround so basically all you have to do is you cannot be connected to the 2k servers all you have to do is go up here to settings um, scroll down to network and disconnect yourself from the internet. Now, if you have, if you're not using Wi-Fi and you're using a LAN cable, just disconnect your LAN cable and plug it back in afterwards, and it'll work the same way. So this is going to take a little bit for it to load back up to the screen. So I'm going to come back when it's done. All right. So as you guys can see, we're no longer connected to the 2K servers. I'm going to go back into options, go back to my creative player, and scroll down to Dwayne Bacon. And let's get down to him. Where is he? right here Dwayne Bacon so I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna do the exact same thing as I did while we were connected to the servers and this time it won't say it's inappropriate so delete that try to spell bacon again and there you go it doesn't say that it's inappropriate you can save that everything is okay and then you can go back online afterwards and you can put this in your uh, you know put this in your draft class or use the player or anything and nothing will be messed up it'll basically save like that and it won't say that anything is inappropriate again until you try to delete the name and type it back in while you are connected to the server. So hopefully this helps some of you guys out. This was a uh, pretty well requested video, so I hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure to drop a like on it if you did. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.